welcome back to Cracking the Cryptic. And uh, this is my broadcast for my favorite people of the week because the only people who will be listening to this when it goes out are those who are not watching Simon play the witness, as I probably am. So it's a pleasure to be talking to my favorite people and catching up with everybody else after the witness stream. Um, but this promises to be a very good Sudoku because it's been recommended by uh, Discord users to us and that makes it quite, uh, I mean, they're always very high quality. So I'm looking forward to having a go at this, seeing how we get on. Um, now, I do need to mention a few things. First of all, on Patreon today, we have published Elements of Sudoku by Zetamath, a, well, I mean, it's a document you'll have to study. You you have to work out the rules to uh, and what you have to do to solve it. It looks like six six by six Sudokus, one of which has been solved, but that may help you work out the rules. Uh, there may be chat on Patreon, uh, sorry, on the Patreon chat um, channel on Discord, although Interestingly, a couple of hours after posting it, very little had gone up there. So I think that may be baffling people at the moment. But maybe by now, when you're watching this, and uh, when Simon's struggling through witness land, um, it's got a bit of traction. We shall see. Um, now, let's have a look at this puzzle. Let's not mention the apps and the merchandise and the um, Sudoku Pad app, which is now available and sharing is the new feature that you can get on it if you update it. Let's not. Let's just get on with this puzzle. It's by Jordan Hyde, and she, I don't know what pronouns Jordan prefers, so they um, have created an anti-diagonal thermo Sudoku. So we know the thermo rules, which are that from the bulb along a thermometer, digits must increase until they get to the tip. Now, we have anti-diagonal Sudoku, which is a very interesting one. There was one of these on the gas puzzles recently. Um, it's not that these have to be nine different digits on the diagonal. They are, in fact, only three different digits repeated three times. The same is true for this diagonal. Not the same three digits, although one will be shared. Uh, but this is a very interesting rule. Slightly underused, actually. I'm, I'm intrigued to do puzzles like these. It leads to interesting rule set combinations and, and unusual logic. So that's exactly what I'm expecting. Expect the unexpected uh, or the Spanish Inquisition. But anyway, do expect this to be a good puzzle and therefore give it a try on the link under the video before watching the solve if you, if you feel up to it. And I'm going to start now. Let's get cracking. And, you know, I see a long thermo. I want to pencil mark it, so I'm going to do that. That's why that practice is called good lifting. So these ones are five cell thermos. So they have to start from somewhere between one and five, finish somewhere between five, oh, I missed one, and nine, and ascend all the way. So I think those are the possibilities. This one has one degree less freedom. It's a sixth cell thermo. Um, so unless I'm making any mistakes, those are the relevant pencil marks. And what the heck do we do with that? We're not, oh, you know, we're, no, that's five cells and, well, one and nine aren't possible. Ah, yeah, these sort of blank spaces that are the only places one and nine can be in the rows. Well, I don't know, they're making me think about X-Wings and Swordfishes, but I don't think that's really happening. So maybe we're going to have to look at these diagonals. I don't understand how. I mean, that, well, okay, that digit can't be the same as that digit because that's from one to five and that's from six to nine. Oh, right, okay. That digit also can't be the same as that digit for the somehow unobvious reason that they're on the same thermo and digits must increase on the thermo. So although there's a lot of overlap between the number possibilities there, they cannot be the same. 
Yeah, that's why I find it a bit strange. I often miss this. Anyway, that means that this, which can't be that and now can't be that, has to be the same as that one because we're only using three digits on this diagonal. So I think it is time to color those. Um, but I mean, is that going to get anything done? Okay, yes, it means this is no bigger than five, doesn't it? Yeah, so that is one, two, three, or four. This can't be a one now. Ah, and that feeds along the thermo. Oh, so maybe this sort of puzzle will gradually eliminate one along each thermo and will slowly reduce it. I don't know, though. And that could be green in this box, could be a five. Um, ah, okay, what are these two in relation to these two? Yeah, this, this cannot be lower than this number. If there's a six overlap, but that must be higher than that. So that is the higher on this two cell thermo here. So that is six, seven, eight, nine. Let's color it orange. This one is three, four, five, or six. Let's color it blue. And we go blue, orange, green, blue, green, orange. Now, five, six, seven, or eight could be any of them. But, right. Oh, no, I don't. Oh, yes, okay. This can't be orange because it's on the same thermo as orange. So that is green or blue. So where is orange? Is orange always higher than green or blue? Yes, look at these number possibilities. It always is. So that is orange. Six, seven, eight, or nine. This is green or blue. But so is that, and I don't know which is which. Now this cell is on the other anti-diagonal line, but it's not on a thermo, so we've got no blooming information about it at all. What, what can it be? That can't be green. It's not very interesting. None of so few cells on this diagonal line, this this backslash diagonal are on thermos, so they just seem a lot less helpful. Maybe... Okay, I said this can be green or blue, but the only way it can be green is if it's a 5, which is pretty restricted. If that's a 5, this thermo goes 4, 3, 2, 1, for instance. It has to. Ah, and this thermo goes 6, 7, 8, 9. Oh, look, that's absolutely gorgeous. Right, if this was a 5, this thermo goes 6, 7, 8, 9, but that has to be a 9, because 6, 7, 8 would have gone into box 5, but 9 is meant to be on this diagonal and suddenly can't be in the middle box. So that is not a 5, that is brilliant. And now we know that is not a 5, green is not a 5, let's just... We know this can't be green, that is definitely blue. This one is green and is 2, 3 or 4. Hasn't... Oh yes, now blue has to come from the overlap of 3, 4, 5, 6 and 5, 6, 7, 8. So it is 5, 6. Um, that has an effect on this thermo. Yeah, that's taking out degrees of freedom along the end of it. And on this one, yes, also on this one. Oh, that's so clever. I love that. I'm going to call it the break-in, because I think that's what it is. Um, now, what do we get in here? Not quite got... Ah, oh. yes, perfect. Right, now we can look at this diagonal. Let us call 7, 8, and 8, 9. Oh, okay, neither of them are 2, 3, 4, so neither of them are green. So we need two new colours. Let's go yellow and red. What colour did I leave out? Oh, purple. Normally my favourite. Okay, let's go yellow and purple. Oh, I think I left that out originally because these lines are purple, but actually that looks all right. So we've got 
yellow, purple, and green on this backslash diagonal. So that's purple. That's eight or nine. That's going to give us a quadruple. So now we know that this is five. Six, seven, eight, nine in box five must be confined to those four cells, three of them colored. So blue becomes a five. Um, now, eight, no, I don't suppose there's any way of resolving. Oh, yes, of course there is a way because green appears here, so it can't be here. So that's green. And look, green is ruled out of that cell and that cell by these greens. So green is there, and the greens are two, three, or four, we know. Now, purple and yellow. This is yellow, seven or eight. These, I don't suppose there's any way of knowing, but purple and yellow are always from seven, eight, and nine. So I don't know which of those is which, but... Now, what else have we learned? Right, yellow has come down to seven or eight. Purple is eight or nine. Orange is still six, seven, eight, or nine. Ah, but this... Hmm, I don't know. Okay, so what else can we do? Maybe... Okay, let's, let's do some eliminating, because we've got some fives in the grid. So those can't be fives. These can't be fives. Um, that doesn't get much done. Ah, on the diagonal, sorry, on this thermo, none of those can be fives. Don't think it lets me eliminate much else. Um, might be missing something. Have we got a triple up here? Oh, five on the end of this thermo. Oh, wake up. Four, three, two, one. All the way back to the beginning. Yes, now what we've got is a... Well, we've either got an octuple, or um, a little more sensibly, we just ask, where does one go in this row? And it's got to be there. Um, so that is from six, seven, eight, nine. Now we have a quad up here. Oh, hang on. Green is two, three, or four, and has to be in one of those cells. Well, obviously in one of those two. Let's start there. But that... Oh, yes, since... Yes, sorry, that three is looking at this, so green can't be three. That's the way to spot that. Green is two or four. It's in one of those cells. It's also in one of these two, just by Sudoku looking at the green shading that we've got. So one of those is green. If it's there, it has to be a four. One of those is green, and one of these is green. Can we propagate any other colors around the grid? Probably not. No, oh, well, orange. None of those can be orange because orange is six, seven, eight, or nine. So there is an orange up here. And one of those is orange because it can never be the same as yellow or purple. Ah, oh, orange is looking at that cell. So that is not orange. In fact, this is orange. I don't know if that's helpful. Maybe it's not. There must be an orange in one of those two. They could be. Um, I don't know what I'm meant to be looking at. Five, six, seven. That can't be a two. Should have seen that. Okay, this is a one, two, three, four quad. So three in the row is in one of those two cells. So these can't be threes, and that means these can't be fours, and that's all it means because we'd already ruled out five from the tips. Oh, but look what that's done to this cell. Oh, that little thing with the threes that fixed that as not a three makes this not a four, and crucially makes it not green because it's now six, seven, or eight, and green has to be two or four. I don't know. I mean, it, it looks sort of crucial. So that's two or four. This can't be a four anymore. Uh, this is now green for definite, and that isn't. 
So that cell is two or four. I don't think we'd have found that without the coloring. I don't think so. Um, still haven't resolved yellow and purple up there. Ooh, am I getting a quad? If that's not a four, I am. I don't know. Right, let's just keep focusing on what we can do rather than what we can't. Ah, purple, purple, yes. So none of those are purple, and purple is eight or nine, so those aren't purple either. So purple is in one of those two cells, and in one of these two, which doesn't really help. Even though we know purple is eight or nine, it could certainly be there, probably is in fact. Um, now, where else do we know something? Purple's down in one of those, but that's not very useful. I wish these were on a thermo or something. They're just not... Oh, okay, we always know yellow... Oh no, that doesn't help. Yellow is less than purple. That's not useful up here particularly. Six has to be in one of those two cells because yellow and purple aren't six. And that means this can't be six. And that doesn't look useful either. Oh, we just, no, we haven't discovered whether green is two or four. Okay, come on. What's going on then? Right, five in this box can't be in those cells. So five's in one of those two. Then fives in one of those two. No, that's not what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to do that. Okay. Purple. Oh, I'm missing something here. It's a very interesting puzzle. I mean, if, although I was, as I said, expecting the unexpected, it's really not unfolding in any possibly expectable way. This is very interesting to me. Um, now, am I missing something on a thermo? Six, seven, seven, eight, nine. Don't think so. Purple is eight or nine. I mean, it's just not getting anything done here. That's not yellow or purple, but it could be orange. In fact, it is orange, isn't it? Orange there, orange there. Oh, I've got it marked as orange. Okay. So, big deal. Um, ah. Should I know which one of these is purple and which one is yellow? That just feels like it would be very helpful. How can I know? Something to do with this column. That can't be six, seven, eight, or nine because of this quad. But that can be, otherwise that is. Oh, this can't be yellow or purple because they're both in the box. So where is the other yellow or purple? It could be there, I suppose. No, that's not giving me anything. Oh, hang on. Where's yellow in this row? which is seven or eight. It's not any of those cells. It's not there because of that yellow. And it's not in those two because yellow and purple share the box in the corners. So that is yellow. Oh, how does that take so long to see? Disappointing, right. So that's yellow, seven or eight. That is purple, eight or nine. Now, what else does that mean? Doesn't mean we can fix yellow, it's in one of those two cells. Yes, purple, no. 
Come on. Oh, purple is in one of those two cells. Because that purple and that purple rule out all of those and it's not three or four. So we can replace the grey with purple and in fact five, eight or nine is the, are the only candidates and one of them is a five. So that's not purple. That is purple now. Which is eight or nine, which doesn't help with the thermo. Um, oh, come on, give me more help. You rotten cells. One in column one has to be in one of those two, and in one of those three in column two, that's not very interesting, I'm afraid. Um, still don't know anything about those. I thought getting this colouring was going to be really useful up here, and it's not been. It's fooled me. Those could all be purple. Is there somewhere that's seen by all of yellow, purple and orange that I'm just not realising? Ooh, that almost is. Not quite though. That is, but that doesn't really help. Because it could never have been 7, 8 or 9 anyway. That's not purple. Purple is one of those and is 8 or 9. Oh, where's orange in this final column? Orange being 6, 7, 8 or 9. It's not there because of that orange. It's not there because of that orange. It's not here because of the number. It's not there because of that orange. It's not there or there because they are coloured already and there. So orange is in one of these two and is therefore 6 or 7, no bigger. That's very interesting. Right. I think that's very... Yes, that's very interesting on the end of the thermo in column 1. If that is 6 or 7, this is 6. And in fact, orange is 7. Wow. Hard one deduction there. Four. Ah, oh, green is 2. Now, now the deductions come. Green is 2. So, they're all 2. That is now green. That is not coloured. That is green. That is not coloured. That is a two. Um, a two. There we go. So that's all the twos done. All the greens. They're over with. Um, now, orange is a seven, so it has to be here. Right. That's good. That's orange. Sorry, I shouldn't have shaded both of those orange. I should have part shaded them like up here where there is a seven in one of those two cells. And, and this is orange seven, I believe. And one of those two. So let's get the shading right. There we go. Right. So seven, obviously yellow is eight and purple is nine. Bingo. Eight there, nine in purple. Those become nine. This is now a five nine pair. Um, now we must have all kinds of Sudoku to do everywhere that I just can't focus on. Those, those can't be twos. So that's a one three pair. So four is there. This is a six because we've got a seven. That's not two or six. So this is less than four. Ah, and it can't be one or two. Perfect. So that's a three. That's a four. All the thermos are done if I fill in this cell, and why not with a one? So all, oh, apart from this, that's an eight. Yeah, all the thermos are done. I can color an eight. Yellow. I, I think I'm going to keep, although it's theoretically not necessary, I'm going to keep coloring the two, five, seven, eight, nine, the diagonal cells throughout the grid, because I think it just makes it a bit clearer what's going on. Now, there must be naked singles and stuff popping up and just simple deductions, right? First column, that's a three. 
that's an eight. Eights are yellow. So that is an orange and yellow pair of seven and eight. Uh, let's have a look along that row. No, not very useful. This can't be seven or eight. In fact, it's pencil marked into, it is a six. It's the last one in the column, in the row, I mean. Uh, we've got a five, four pair up here. So, no, four is there. Six and eight, finish the row. Eight is yellow. Ah, and that does fix the colouring down here, and the numbers as well are eight and seven, and that fixes seven up here. This has no colouring, no number, and nothing like that. This one is now orange. And I feel, apart from fives, have we done all two sevens, eights, and nines? We have, if I put eight in there. Uh, no, missing one of them in there. Very nice. Two, seven, eight, and a nine. No, there's a couple of nines. There's quite a few nines still to go. So nines and fives. I've done all two sevens and eights, I think. You can see yellow, green, and orange in each uh, box. So six and one and three to finish the top row. Right, one has to be in one of those cells that is probably not a lot of use as a deduction. Yes, it is. It gives me a one down here. Um, that is five or nine. It's going to be colored. Just don't know which yet. Um, one and five to go in those. One, three. That is a naked single six. Three, one, so that's the five, that's the one now. Fives are colored, they are blue. So we get a blue there, not blue there. Um, where, are they? where else have we got a blue? This must be blue, intriguingly. Um, and one of those. This now is purple as a result, so we can do the last two purples in the grid, last three purples in the grid, I mean. There they go. Right, so purples are all nine. Blues are all five. Oh, don't highlight those two. Five. We've got four and six to go in there in some order. That is a six. Three and four are a pair here. That's a six, is it? Yes, it is. So that fixes the four. Six pair. We get four here, that fixes three, four. This is a three. This is a one. Five and four go in like that. Let's finish the coloring. Sorry, I'm hitting the wrong buttons. There we go with the coloring. That's a five, that's a four, and a three to finish. And that is a very clever puzzle. I did not expect a rainbow to break out in this one. Um, really interesting, lovely combination of the anti-diagonal and the thermo constraints. Such an unusual puzzle. Thank you to Jordan for creating it. That is fabulous. And thank you very much to Discord for recommending it. Um, really well worth doing. If you did it in a manner that was relatively straightforward and didn't involve colouring, let me know in the comments because I'd be really interested to see if there is a decent way to do that. It's a sort of puzzle that in a competition would be a real struggle because you just don't have this colouring option really. Um, I, yeah, I would have found that very hard in a competition. Anyway, thank you very much for watching the video in the end. And uh, as always, hope to see you again soon on the channel. Bye for now.